are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight, but there aren't that many guys who are gonna wanna stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. This is his first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Invincible! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it fit. advantage on paper when you're a striker at this guy's level that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by the gentleman so once again making good use of his size as he lands the knee How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, 
straight right. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Look at the angle of that nice body. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. from his cheek. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Connects now with the one-two. Back and forth we go. Cable inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fifth. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. He is all about that left kick to the body. Left change, leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Body kick is blocked. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Good punch, Lance. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Lance, uh, Lancing right hand upstairs. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Nice loop and punch. Try to establish that jab. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, huge overhand. 
just misses with the jab there. Establish that jab once again. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Lee going for the body. Missed with that kick. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, spinning bastards. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He loaded up there on that high kick. Some real power shots here. Oh, big left hook there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Big kick lands. Hook shots to the body now are there on the clinch by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Huge block there. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Right under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Let's go. Let's get that takedown now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Whoa! Big combination. He's got him right here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind him. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Final seconds here. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. How about oh, those five oh. minutes? All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. 
but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Third round underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch by Lee. Able to check that kick as well. Changes his stance. Big kick lands. Went for the inside leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Wow, what a kick! Oh, big left! Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt! Nice punch lands over the top. Checks the leg kick. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Oh, he lands a straight punch there, DC. We'll see if he can follow it up now. He has been throwing the strike over and over again. Look how crisp and straight he is. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And he continues to work the body here. That's a big strike right there. Big roundhouse now just misses. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Just missed with the left there. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Ooh, what a punch. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. Nice kick. All right, single collar tie now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Just out of range with that strike. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Beautiful punch. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Lee. Man, that hurts to watch as he lands another strike to his opponent's liver. He has continued to target that area after landing that huge liver shot earlier in the fight. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Gets lit up by that straight punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. There, his opponent should be out of here soon, DC. Well done. You get hit with a shot like that. You don't know what to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Close guard. 
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Lee. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Blocks the shot. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Serve him up. Go get him. Close guard. Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. How good is that right hand? Continuing to work out of the half guard. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Lee's back in full guard. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Back and forth we go! to be hit with one of those knees to the body. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Throws the right hand there. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punches. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Get that oh. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck and he will have to submit. And you hear the crowd react every time they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Nice. Big leg kick land. How about that shin? Oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to take that finish down. Oh! Oh, he takes the knockout line. He takes the knockout line. He got him. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout in 
Invincible! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.